اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آل پریزز بی ٹو اللہ اینڈ پیز بی اپان ٹو ہز بلاوڈ میسنجر ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور انگلش ٹیچر سادیا کیوم بیک اگین وتھ ٹوڈیز لیکچر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایلیمنیٹ آن اے نیو چیپٹر نیملی tobacco the silent killer i hope you would be the patient and cautious listeners during the discharge of my lecture tobacco belongs to the family nightshade being cultivated for their leaves it is an important non food commercial crop grown nowadays The size of the tobacco plant ranges from 3 feet to 10 feet. The dried leaves of tobacco plant are used in cigarettes, cigars and for chewing. In 1492, the natives of the island tobacco have been found using tobacco leaves for pleasure by columbus and his men people all over the world are using tobacco for uh, smoking since that time the smoking industry is now the biggest industry harming the human health The cigarette smoking is estimated to contain over 4000 chemicals and out of 4000 chemicals over 43 chemicals are carcinogenic which includes polycyclic hydrocarbons the smoke also contains cellular irritants such as ammonia formaldehyde and oxides of nitrogen <coughs> carbon monoxide which in turn badly harm hemoglobin and reduces its oxygen carrying capacity the major component of the cigarette smoke is however nicotine which badly affects human nervous system and causes addiction thereby increases blood pressure and pulse rate it also causes many other diseases among one is cancer it is a silent killer lung cancer is caused by the tar in tobacco smoke in kashmir people consume tobacco by inhaling uh, smoke from the hookah which in the native language is called jijir now we are going to discuss few questions of the current lesson question number 1 is what is the major component of tobacco smoke its answer the major component of tobacco smoke is nicotine question number second is what are carcinogenic chemicals the carcinogenic chemicals are those chemicals that cause cancer question number 3 is list some uses of tobacco answer to this question is some uses of tobacco are <clears throat> the nicotine in tobacco is used as an insecticide in agriculture second use it can also be used in oil paint and varnish industries third use is it is used in many vitamin preparations fourth use refined tobacco seed oil can be used as a substitute for groundnut oil fifth in the past tobacco was used in many medicines fourth question of the chapter is what is the difference between an active smoker and a passive smoker answer 
to this question is an active smoker is one who himself smokes while as a passive smoker is one who does not smoke but inhale smoke because of being close to a smoker this is all about today thank you have a nice day ahead assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh